all right ladies and hosses check this out in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys the Kinter message box or the Kinter however you want to call it but anyways what this is is it's essentially um, the equivalent of like an alert in JavaScript pretty much a little pop-up that appears on the screen and they can either just give you plain text like a tidbit of information or it can also ask you a question like um, you know those pop-ups that are like do you want to leave the site yes no um, are you cool yes no do you like baloney yes no although that might as well just have a yes button but you know I'll show you guys how to make it anyway so first thing we're gonna do is import some crap that we need Kinter and this one is called message box so this is pretty much the class that allows you to pop a message box up on the screen simple enough so the first type I'm going to show you is just pretty much basic text just basic dialogue nothing that you can interact with in any way as far as you know typing in input or pressing any buttons so what you do is you enter and in the message box class there's a function called show info now this is actually going to take a couple parameters some of them are optional some of them are necessary the first one is I probably should have showed you this a while ago but you know at the top of every window I think uh, by default it just says like TK or something but this right here it says YouTube tutorials that's actually called the window title and the first parameter I'll just actually write window title so you can see exactly where it is whatever text you write in here that's what's gonna appear as this text so you aren't just stuck with like TK or Kinter or whatever it was called so now since this is just a basic show info dialogue all you can do is pretty much have a blurb of text and display it to the user so I'll just write something stupid like um monkeys can live up to 300 years you know like a fun little fact is that true absolutely not but who cares someone's probably gonna believe it so my program I can lie if I want to but anyways check this out I'm gonna right click run this bad boy and it says window title that's where I was talking about right here and monkeys can live up to 300 years so of course you can just press OK close it pretty much zero interaction so the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys another thing that's actually pretty similar to this but instead of just having an OK button and that's all you can do this is actually going to give you a couple options it's going to say yes or no now what you always want to do is instead of just running it real quick you actually want to store that in a variable so then you can use it later in your program so I'll take this and store it in the variable answer so this answer is going to be equal to yes or no. So now when I do enter and this is actually move my freaking cursor out of the way. Message box. I have like half a stuffy nose, half not a stuffy nose. So it might sound weird, but you know, probably sound weird anyway. So ask question. Now the first one of course is the window title again. So We'll say that we're making like a, a quiz application. I don't know, maybe an IQ test. So this can be question one. And the second parameter, this has to be a yes or no question. Because that's what this is. If you write like, what's your name? It's just going to have a button yes or no. So unless their name is yes or no, you know, they don't have anywhere to type it in, of course. So I'll just put like, uh, I don't know. Let me think of something real stupid. Got it. Do you like silly faces? So of course they can click yes or no stored in the variable answer. So now we can just make a basic if statement. So if the answer, and make sure you have a double equal sign. Never put is and never put um, one equal sign because of course one equal sign just assignment like assigning um, the value of five equal to the variable x or something. So put is answer equal equal to yes so that's how you do it with uh, the ask question dialogue and now if they answered yes if they do indeed like silly faces then we'll just print them out a silly face like this uh, a... oops you know 
know, just some guy with like a silly eyes and you know, like a little beard at the end. So that's pretty silly face and uh, give some spaces around that. Actually, let's make his face a little bit longer. There we go. So now when I run this bad boy, check it out. Monkeys can live up to, hmm, that's a pretty interesting fact actually. Okay, now check this out. Do you like silly faces? Whenever I click this yes button, what it's going to do, it's going to take this function, which is basically that box, and since we clicked yes, the answer yes is now stored in the variable answer. So this was true. Of course, it printed out our silly face, and that's how we got that. So really quick tutorial, really simple, but that's how you use message boxes in Kinter. And now I have to go because I am trying to get my crush, Barbara for you too, to sign up for Bucky's room. So that's what I got to do. And if anyone can actually get her to sign up, then I'll give you like five bucks because she's hot and I want her to sign up for my website. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys. So I'll see you later.